Seven creators, one house. From private bass lakes to fighting giant sharks, the next three days will be absolutely nuts, as today we take on the fishing capital of the world, Florida. We've all heard tales of gargantuous bass being pulled out of these alligator infested waters. And people often joke about how Florida fishing takes zero skill, which if it's true, is perfect for me. <laughs> Just the potential to break my PB with one cast is already getting me hype. So it's the night before the big fishing day and it's pouring pretty hard. This was me earlier in the day, soaked, and I look like one of those dogs that look like a wet mop. But I think one thing you guys obviously want to see is a house door. So come on in. Hey guys, do you mind like uh, just like talking a little quieter? I don't know what I was thinking. Quieting a group of YouTubers is like trying to beat a tiger in a race. Yes, I did do that. And yes, it's quite impossible. Got this big old hallway to start off with. Tons of Carl's decoration. This right here is the living room. It's pretty spacious. And we got a big old TV here as well. That mind you, we never turned on once. Got a whole life-size Carl's poser right here. Honestly, I've seen him in real life and I don't think he's quite this tall. Actually, with that stare, I take it all back. Carl is very tall and we even named a shark out. After him. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you Ketchco for making this opportunity possible. Thank you for basically renting this house for us creators for the next couple of days. Got a ton of cool content planned for y'all. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh man, that got quiet quick. I can already imagine what they think of me. I bet his PB is two pounds. Why is he wearing a hat indoors? Yep, I definitely don't understand any of that. Unlike most kitchens, we don't actually have a lot of food out here, but instead, got stacks and stacks of plastics. Sorry for the background noise, those guys are just loud. And you know, normal houses have decorations, like family portraits and everything. But over here at the Ketchco Content House, we got mystery tackle boxes everywhere. They're literally littered. In here, Mike. AKA One Rod, he's sleeping. He always goes to bed super early. Let's get in. I'm kidding. No, we're not gonna do that. This is where some guys are staying. Yak Pack's over here, Weston's over here. As you can see, Ketchco provided us a ton of apparel to wear on the strip. I'm actually wearing one right now. Shout out to my boy Logan for helping me record all this, by the way. Also, if you're watching this, you left some of your baits in my bag. <laughs> I'm not giving them back. This is his bed and this is my bed. We're actually neighbors for the next couple days. Look at that picture they got of me. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I seriously forgot about this video until I saw this picture. Yeah, that's a lie. How could I forget the sheer enjoyment of creating a mountain of baits? Speaking of which, if you guys want some free baits, be on the lookout for the next few videos because your boy's doing some giveaways. This house is honestly pretty massive. More beds, big room, yada yada, massive bed, but most importantly, so this is the bathroom. It's really not that special. I guess that'll wrap it up for the quick house tour. It's almost 12 o'clock. I think we need to hit the hay. We got a big day tomorrow. Six hours later. Right there, that's a Walmart. And Norm basically recommended us to try this pond first. Now I've fished plenty of Dick's Sporting Good Pond before, but never a Walmart one. I like to consider myself a connoisseur, connoisseur. <sighs> connoisseur of ponds located near Dick's Sporting Goods. Now we also were planning to actually hop this fence, but it turns out there's a much easier way. Logan, you should still jump it. <laughs> there we go. See, there's always an easy way out. Yeah, we're in, yeah. <laughs> Unlike where I live right now in Virginia, there's green everywhere. Cold, windy, cold. Did I mention it's cold here? Please, can I come back to Florida? It's basically mid spring here. No way, there's another pond right there. One thing I'm starting to notice about Florida is there's infinite ponds. It's kind of like a infinite pond glitch. It feels a video game. There's one right there and I bet just a stone's throw away, there's another one over there. For the first couple hours of today, I'm actually gonna help Mike knock out. Explain this, I don't I know. Look, we got Trump and Biden and there's hooks on their feet. Feel the body, it's actually pretty squishy. Oh yeah. So, I mean, we catch fish on it, it's possible. Let's just take a second to appreciate how Mike always finds the weirdest things on the internet to fish with. First cast with the Trump frog. Let's see if this even walks. Okay. Able to cast it pretty far. Yo, it does. Mike, it walks. It walks, look at that. It's got a weight in the back of the head. And then right here, it's got the hooks. Here, let me get closer. This literally walks better than some of the frogs I throw. No way. This actually is a legit lure. That's good action, bro. Yeah. Good luck. Hey, best of luck. You as well.
May the best president win. Yeah, they probably had some Japanese engineer design this because so far the action is phenomenal. Now we just gotta see how the hookup ratio is. Now our buddy Logan, he's doing a very interesting challenge. What are you doing today? Attempting to catch a bed fish with these goggles on. They're basically drunk goggles. Yeah. I tried them on last night. I couldn't walk in a straight line without tripping oh, no, over. Like, the bad thing is like we're on a hill. Of course you know I can't let this opportunity go to waste. I gotta mess with him a bit. Huh? I saw that. No. Saw well, plan failed. Somehow Logan is still able to see, but that's not enough to stop my determination. But I can actually see from like the top. Oh man, that's crazy. The bottom half is what. Gets okay. Me. Okay. Oh yeah. No, I'm actually really far. Yeah. Really. Yeah. What you doing with your hand over? There? Nothing. I swear that looks so close to me. This thing? Oh my god. Part of me thought these goggles couldn't possibly be that bad, so I tried them on myself. Tyler, I don't even... How far are you? I'm gonna try and attempt to make a straight... <laughs> that was not... That was not scripted at all. <laughs> Logan, you're gonna have a fun time with this, man. Oh, what, what's wrong with this? Yo, can you help me out? <laughs> Can we just appreciate how I was literally pranking Logan a few minutes ago, and now he's helping me untangle myself? This is the kind of fishing buddy you want. This is what basically happens in these videos, but we just cut it out. Mike just got bit. Okay, enough of these drunk goggles. Logan, thank you. Good luck. Don't fall in the water. Later. The first pond, honestly, was horrible. Logan, how was your experience with these so far? I think I'm going to catch a fish with them. Easy. Dude, I really, I really hope you do. And then you try and land it and you just topple in the water. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> so you were in Walmart. What yeah. were you getting? I got these sweatpants. They were $8.99. I forgot my whole suitcase on this trip, including my underwear and socks. So I just went and did a whole Walmart haul. Got all the clothes I needed. I'm ready to catch some fish here. This is a good spot. There's tons of eight pluses in here. It should be cool. Awesome. And then Mike, as you know, is throwing still the Trump and Biden frogs. Yeah, those other ponds were a little bit not too good, but my fish senses are definitely tingling. I think I'm gonna get done here. Zoe, who is probably the only responsible adult in this whole content house today. Hello. Have you caught a fish before? I have not. All right. We know what we gotta do today. We gotta get her on a fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you throwing? The world's first electronic fishing lure. Dude, only he would do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to light up. I put it in the water. It didn't work, but keep in mind, it's also 50 years old. Now, I've seen my fair share of alligator videos on YouTube, so I had to ask questions. Behind us, are there gators in here? We're in Florida, so you you have to go with assuming there is gators in every body of No. <laughs> I think we're going to start off with the Biospawn Rattlebot. It's got orange all alongside the belly. Dude, look what I found. I found a firework. used firework dude the fuse is still on it i feel like we should light it on fire you just stuff it in your crankbait so then <laughs> it'll, <laughs> it'll, just, go it'll just go crazy honestly this doesn't look that bad let me know in the comments what we should call it i'm gonna walk with you this way i feel like we split up into two teams of two. <laughs> i already have fish no way you got one yeah Ooh. <laughs> oh let's go you need me to land it Oh yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Just watch the trebles. I like putting trebles through my hand. <laughs> Dude, first cast. <laughs> no <laughs> way, fish bump, bro. Ah, <laughs> nice. uh, yeah, that might be a little too easy right there. This is my official first largemouth bass of the trip. Congrats, dude. Thank you, thank you. That's one of the goals knocked off. Goodbye. They fight insane. I don't know if you guys believe it, but there's something called the first cast curse. And some guy named PJ thought it was important enough to write a whole article on. So it's kind of got me nervous. Oh, dude, I just got cranked. Yeah? I am so dumb. I was okay, maybe I'm still having a better day than others. Just to give you guys some reference. I was struggling to fight that one bass. That was probably like 1.5 pounds. But that just goes to show you the Florida best. Gonna retire the lipless for now. Give the good old spinner bait a try. Oh, this is actually dangerous. I don't want it waving around. If y'all have ever been hooked, you understand why I'm so sketched out here. Please drop a like for the fact that I might get an ear piercing. Running a 10,000 fish cycle bait with the Biospawn Exoswim on the back. Yeah, right. Oh, he's got one, he's on, he's on. Look at this chaos. <laughs> Mike with his butterfly net. You have a <laughs> I actually got my first hook in my hand ever at this pond. You guys want to hop in a pick real quick? Yeah, come on. Logan. Bro, who knows? Einstein might have made that lure. <laughs> <laughs> he probably did. Ta-da, and that's how pictures like this get taken. I got my new pants dirty. Do you like to yo-yo a lipless here or just straight up retrieve? Oh, I, I do a little bit of a mixture because it can be different every day, you know? So. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> you almost took out your camera. That sure was a mixture. <laughs> I stopped getting bites, so I started rigging up something new, but before I could even take it out the package. <gasps> no way. I'm here trying to rig. Oh, Mike's got a giant. Mike's got a giant. <laughs> What? Dude, it's huge. Oh my god. Dude, one rod. Oh, I think Buddy got me in my leg too. Oh, I think my leg. What happened? <laughs> I told you it had to we happen again. We freaking got dude. it. You, you <sighs> called that. <sighs> now that Mike caught his presidential bass, he tied on another special lure for Zoe, and soon. Oh, she got one. She got one. Oh, Get it, get it, Norm! <laughs> Good stuff, Zoe. <laughs> Kerchow, another one in the books. You gotta love when your eyes are closed. How was that? Amazing. Are I you... know why I'll do it. No. Exactly. It makes sense. For those of you guys who don't know, Zoe actually works at Catch Cup, but she doesn't fish at all. So, you know, now you kind of understand why you have a bunch of grown men literally pond hopping. <laughs> First of many. Honestly, it wasn't that productive of a day of fishing for me. The important thing is just to enjoy ourselves. All we gotta do is shoot straight, just like how we catch our bass. Yeah, I ordered. Oh, okay. Uh, ignore that. My concentration got broken. Tomorrow we're fishing an extra special spot. So if I hit the next two balls in one of the big circles, I'll break my PB. Here we go. Yup, that was pretty atrocious, but take a look at who I'm playing against. Oh. 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 For this ball, if I hit it in, I will for certain catch a PB. And I'm not discounting that I won't catch a PB if I don't hit it in. I know it may not look it, but trust me on this one, the ball did in fact go in. We did it. Catching a PB tomorrow, boys. I don't know if you guys have been to Top Golf, but this score of 52 after hitting more than half of these balls, not too great. See, if I reach out mine here, it looks yeah, bigger. Yeah, they, they look about the same now. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs>